Foul language. The next danger of the tongue is foul language. This habit is undoubtedly a sin. The one who is obscene and bad mouthed is hated by Allah, the Exalted. This is confirmed in a narration found in Jami, Atimiz, number 2002. The one who angers Allah, the Exalted, is far away from his mercy and thus more susceptible to punishment in both worlds. Foul language is speech which contradicts modesty and good manners. It includes swearing and using shameless language. Wherever possible, one should reference something indirectly, rather than using shameless language. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, has made it clear in a narration found in Jami, Atimiz, number 1977, that a true believer does not utter foul words. So the one who makes this their habit, should review their faith and sincerely repent from this evil trait. In fact, using foul language has been indicated as a branch of hypocrisy by the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, in a narration found in Jami, Atimiz, number 2027. Replying to a shameless person is foolish and only leads to sins. For example, a person commits a major sin when they abuse their own parents. According to a narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 5973, this occurs when a person abuses another person's parents and the latter in response abuses their parents. A Muslim should strive to purify their tongue by only uttering sensible words, otherwise, they may speak a foul word which causes them to sink into hell greater than the distance between the east and west of this world. This is confirmed in a narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 7481. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.